everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in Chapter 5 and continuing with the same topic 5.1, Selection of Task Matrices. So far we have covered a lot of uh, altogether 10 matrices. Uh, now we are continuing with the remaining as a part 3. We cover the rest of the matrix. In today's tutorial, the very first technique or first matrix which we are trying to cover is code coverage. Code coverage is another part of the automation reporting and matrices. When you talk about the task matrices, code coverage plays a vital role. It generally uh, measures the code coverage of the SUT when you run a particular test. Say, for example, when you're talking about the unit testing, of course, code coverage plays a vital role that how much your unit tests have covered the entire functionalities and the codes which you have written for the program. Similarly, like the same way the tool of script, whatever you create, maybe automation when you talk about with respect to unit testing or probably for system or integration, then it is required for you to measure and make sure that what is the coverage achieved. Because at some point of time, it can also help you to uncover certain risk areas where it is possible that maybe a test which was executed earlier and now you try to re-execute it and the time taken by the test executed earlier and now is different. Maybe the time taken this time is longer than the previous one. Now that could probably say that there is a change in the code or there might be some additional thing which has been added or there's something if it, it is like other way around like the code coverage execution or uh, the automation test execution drops then probably it is again that there's something which we are missing which is not being executed. So that's where uh, you know code coverage plays really vital role to determine how helpful the automation and tasks uh, execution would be. The second thing here is to understand about tool scripting matrices. The tool scripting matrices will help you to determine how effective your scripting is for the automation. In, in terms like how you talk about the development, the line of uh, code or cyclomatic complexity, control flow, and a lot many other things which you take care of while programming for a particular application. Similarly, the automation script is equally important when you talk about preparing an automation script. Until unless you do this measure, it will be difficult to determine that how effectively you are preparing a script because it's just as usual as the development part. You What you can do with 10 lines of code, maybe you are writing 30 lines for that. Similarly, automation script also invites the same kind of architecture that maybe uh, the thing what you're doing with 30 lines of script or code, the same can be done with 10 or 15 lines of it. So. Uh, this matrix will help you to determine if there's any unwanted specifications or lines of code or cyclomatic complexity or complicated uh, programs or you know the library functions are being used which can be further simplified. In continuation to that we have the third uh, matrix here automation code density. Uh, at automation code defect density the number of uh, code is actually no different than the code of SUT in that it is softer and will contain defects. So automation code should not be considered less important than the SU2 code. Good coding practices and standards should be applied and the result of these monitored by the matrix such as code defect density which will determine that what number of code has, what number of defects have been identified in a particular piece of code. So each fragment can determine something really good. The next one here is speed and efficiency of task components. Of course, uh, the parameters when you try to uh, execute a test and probably the test may take longer when it comes to future and probably, you know, certain maybe you try with different configurations and maybe you try with different set of users, different scenarios and say, for example, when you try with five users, it runs uh, in within 10 seconds, but when you try with 50, maybe it takes around 30 seconds or maybe more than that. So that could basically help you to determine that if your task components are trying to reduce the speed or response time, so that can probably highlight there is a performance issue or tweaking required to upgrade the system to meet the criteria. So certain components need to be measured with respect to speed and efficiency to highlight some of the parameters from the task point of view. At the end, we have a trend matrix, which is uh, as simple as like just a kind of trend matrix that how the progress is going on so far. So we, we, we generally have to have one of them, which will generally continuously keep on monitoring the progress on the trends of the tool. 
So with many of these matrix, it is the trend that may be more valuable to report than the value of a measure at a specific time. For example, knowing that the average maintenance cost per automated test requiring maintenance is more than it was previous to releases for. So SUT may prompt action to determine the cause of the increase and undertake steps to reverse the trend. So these, these kind of graphs can basically or these kind of matrices can basically help you to determine if there was something which was happening earlier and quite was like not so expensive compared to what we are having now. So these trend graphs can really help you to determine. I think that how the tool is not so good for us and we may look for an alternative. So that's all from this particular tutorial team and that's all from this particular section 5.1, the matrices. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial on this chapter. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below, and I will be always there to address the same. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.